Okay, so in a previous video, we talked about shifting our graphs vertically or horizontally. Okay, just gonna emphasize this again. Any vertical transformation that we see in a function notation will be outside the original function. Any horizontal, tra horizontal transformation will be inside. Vertical transformations uh, match up, for lack of a better word, with the operation. So addition means moving up, okay? Which we would assume you're adding, you're going up, right? Horizontal transformations are the opposite. So when we're adding, we're actually moving to the left, okay? Let's let's use that same that same baseline for transformations when we talk about stretching. Okay, so a vertical stretch will occur when we take a number, okay, and we multiply it times the entire function. So we typically see that as a number that's just right up next to f of x, or a number that's in front of the original function that we had. Okay, and just like we said here with our vertical shifting. Okay, if that number is, well, let's do this. Okay, if that num, well, yeah, let's do that. If the number that we're multiplying by is greater than one, okay, that's a stretch, right? When this number is five, okay, so just as a very quick example, I've got a little room here. So if I had a function that was f of x uh, starts as x squared as a quadratic, okay, if I created this new function, that was g of x and I called it 5x squared, what we would expect to see from that, because there's a number here that's greater than one, we would expect that parabola to be stretched by a factor of five, okay, vertically. All right, we can, we're, I'm gonna have some more videos that kind of uh, give you an example about what we're talking about there, okay. Horizontal transformations, same concept, right? We're gonna multiply the entire function. Well, we're going to multiply by a number, but it's not going to be the entire function. It's going to be multiplying x by a number. So notice the placement of where I'm putting this, this number symbol, right? If the number is being multiplied by the entire function, okay, then that's a vertical stretch. If I multiply this number times only x, then that's a horizontal stretch. And here's where things get kind of weird too. If that number is between zero and one, think about this, okay? What kind of numbers are between zero and one? Like one half, two thirds, okay? What do you think of happening when you multiply by one half? Normally when you multiply by one half, the number gets smaller, right? The output's smaller. What we're saying is if you multiply by one half, you horizontally stretch. So this follows suit with what we were talking about up here. We said if you add, you would assume you're moving to the right, but you're actually moving to the left. It's opposite day, okay? Here, when you multiply the inside here by a fraction, you're actually stretching the graph, okay? And to, to sort of compare that to what we did here, let's take this same function, f of x equals x squared, okay? We would see a horizontal stretch if we put the one half inside parentheses with x, before we square it. So again, notice the location of the number. The number's inside the parentheses here, and then the squared is outside. Over here, there is no parentheses at all. So we would say that this is quote unquote outside the function, okay? And we would say over here that this one half is inside the function.